you know, a lot of capability, a lot of uh, science racks and science modules and, and science on board. So, you know, unfortunately, we did lose some stuff on, uh, on SpaceX, and, I, you know, I really feel bad, especially for the kids out there that... It's primarily taking data and making pictures out of it. That's what this is, a composite of data sets from several different instruments translated into a picture. Small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. So some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Then? There was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just take Command-Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. It, what I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. but. I've looked at these images over and over again. I'm getting results that I like, but I think it's a little bit exaggerated. So I'm gonna, I'm working on some techniques to try to tone it down a little bit. To make it a little more homey. Up here on the space station, they allow you to uh, play ping pong with a ball of water. <laughs> Till next time.